That's right, everybody. A new episode of Half-Ass Presents, the podcast, the history of Half-Ass Customs. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. What's going on? Half-Ass Customs here for another history of Half-Ass Customs. This one's going to be about the custom cars. Not rat rods, not low riders, but customs. And to give you a little background, there's actually two kinds or two types of customs. Um, <clears throat> you may not understand it, so I'm going to explain it. There's two kinds of customs. The first custom is the custom that starts with a C. That's like a Boyd Coddington or Chip Foose type of custom. Um, then there's customs with a K. That is like George Barris and all the other uh, famous customizers from that time period, um, Gene Winfield. Um, it's where they transform a car to give it an attitude, a certain look. Not just customize certain things to make it look better, but to make it stand out, to make it pop. Um, and I've got both customs, both styles of customs here to kind of explain what they are and show you the differences. And uh, I hope you like it. So let's see what we got. We'll go with this first one. This is from Oxford Diecast. It's a 1930s car. I don't know. I don't know what kind of car this is. I think it's Pontiac or Buick. Maybe Pontiac. 1930s. And this is a custom car. Early customs. Say like 1950s. Late 40s. Early 50s style custom. So all they would do is they would just lower the car. Give it a little bit of an attitude. So this is like post-war uh, customizing. You don't do much to the body. The body was nice. You might give it a new paint job, but you just lower it. Then we go to the next one, which is around the same period. It's a 48 Ford, full custom. This is custom with a K. It's like a George Barris or Gene Winfield kind of custom. You give it some kind of candy metal flake paint job. You put some flames and graphics and, and scallops on it. You chop the top. So the top is probably like five inches chopped. You lower it. You put some rear skirts on it. It didn't come with skirts. So you put some rear skirts on it. And you just give it this mean, custom, crazy attitude look. So that's custom with a K. Then we'll go custom with a C. Boom. This one. This is made from, uh, I think this is Athern. Athern makes these. Um, like a 54 Ford Woody Wagon. And it's it's stock car. Uh, I didn't do anything to the paint, but we did change the wheels. So you give it a more modern style, bigger wheel. So these would probably be like 17, uh, I don't know, like 18s or 20s. Um, they're same size tire all around, and it's modernized, and, it, and, and then you lower it, so you give it a stance. So this is custom with a C, like a Chip Foose or a, or Boy Coddington style custom. And then <clears throat> this one, so that's 50s Ford. This is a 57 Chevy. This is a Jean, not a Jean, uh, Larry Watson. Larry Watson, no, this is Roth, I'm sorry, Ed Roth Custom. This is Ed Roth Custom. Ed Roth is the guy who made Ratfinks and all those wild uh, gremlin-looking monsters uh, hanging out of cars, hot rods and whatnot. He built real cars too, and this is one of the creations he built. So it says Roth on the door, got this wild flame paint job, and I built it to, to represent... Um, something he built in real life. So this would have been custom with a K because it's got an attitude. It's got a it's got a presence. And then you go to the same car back here, custom with a C. You give it a stance. You put more more modern wheels on it, and it's a custom. 
You may give it like a candy red paint job maybe. This is a stock paint job that came on the car. I didn't do nothing to it. But you give it a, a stand. So modern wheels and you lower it. Same, whoa, sorry. Same thing with this one. Custom with a C. 57, nope, this is a 57. This is a 55. 55 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, more modern wheels, lower profile tires, and this is not lowered or anything. It's stock suspension. I mean, it may not even be stock suspension. You don't know. I mean, it's a stock base, but it could have like a Mustang front end and a Mustang rear end. Who knows? But it's got modern suspension, say modern uh, wheels to make it uh, more drivable and more likable for today's standards. So that's custom with a C as well. And then let's go custom with a K. Look at this. A 59 Cadillac full custom. So gave it a candy purple metal flake paint job. Blacked out all the chrome. So where the chrome bumpers would be, we blacked it out. We gave it this crazy moonroof uh, wraparound window treatment. And then we cut the rear fins off flatten them out and just made it a wild crazy custom then we'll go with this one a 1940 ford pickup truck now you might wonder how did you get a 1940 ford pickup truck who makes that well hot wheels made it it's part of their 187 scale line of vehicles and this came with a huge hood scoop and like a roll bar type thing. It's a drag bar because this was a dragster car or truck. I shaved off of that hood scoop and I took off the drag bars. You can see the slots back there where they were. I repainted it, gave it some more uh, modern up-to-date wheels. You can see these rear wheels are super deep dish. Super deep dish wheels. Super wide. Um, this would be more like a, a custom with a K as well. I'm sorry, custom with a C. Because there's not, there's not much custom appeal to it. It doesn't really have a, a menacing look or, you know, whatever. This is, this is custom with a C. Then we'll go to this beauty. Look at this beauty here. Oh, this is from Sylvan Kits. It's a 1950. 50 or 51 Hudson. Um, I love this thing. This thing is awesome. Nash. I said Hudson. This is a Nash. It's a 50, 51 Nash uh, sedan two-door uh, fastback. They call these fastbacks because of this sloping roof line going back there. It's a metal. It's, this is a crazy paint job, y'all. It's a silver base for the bottom of the body hood doors fenders and then i painted a candy blue over it and then i painted blue metal flake on top of it and then i let it all uh i painted it one right after another so it didn't even have time to dry and that's why it looks kind of faded but it's it has sort of a, a wild crazy paint job look to it and then the roof um, I painted it all chrome. That chrome pin that we're all using for chrome now. I painted the whole roof chrome. And then I painted a candy blue on top of it. And the paint didn't like the chrome. So I I think this is like oxidizing. Oxidizing or separating. I don't know what you consider this. But I liked it. I left it. I said that looks weird and cool. So I just painted clear over the whole car, then uh, added the chrome strips, and yeah. This is one of my favorite custom cars, because it just has this crazy look. And at certain um, certain ways you see this, some of these spots, dots, on the lower bottom of the car actually can and do at some angles look like skulls in the paint job. 
It's weird. I don't know. You'd have to really look at it to see it, but they're there. Um, let's go this one right behind it. This is a 1955 Cadillac uh, from Allied Form. And then I took a 55 Bel Air Roof station wagon. And I made a 55 Cadillac station wagon out of two Allied Form cars. This is the first time doing this. And... Honestly, I don't really like this car that much. I love the idea. I want to maybe execute it better a second time around. If there's ever a second time around. I don't know. There probably will be. But this is the first time doing it. It was a neat idea to make a Cadillac station wagon. Um, you see that's the tailgate from the 55. And it worked. It worked for the most part. I mean, you backed out. You see what looks like the Cadillac station wagon. You understand. You get it. So it worked for what it was. Um, anyways, let's go with this one. This is a 55 Chevy two-door sedan. I cut the roof off and I took two Allied Form roofs. You can see uh, there in the middle, I conjoined the two roofs. I think... I think it was the stock roof from the front half and then the back roof was from a, another sedan. And I made a two-door wagon out of this 55 Chevy sedan. Um, yeah. So that's custom with a K because it's got a cool paint job. It's got a stance. It's got a look. It says, don't screw with me. We'll go with this one next. This is another Ally form. Uh, 51 Bel Air, I think. 50, 51 Bel Air. Four door. I kept it with its bare metal. Gee, you can see some rust back there. Um, and then I just painted a candy scallop paint job over it. And then, can't really, you can barely see, but I detailed the uh, seats to look sort of like Mexican blankets. Um, but yeah. This is custom with a K because it's got a cool paint job. It's lowered in the back, higher in the front. It's got a look that just says, don't mess with me. How about this? This is a 61 uh, Dodge or Plymouth uh, Ravel car from that 61 Ravel set that they made. Um... It's pretty wild. I put a bare metal foil chrome and then I chromed the whole car and then I chromed in spots bare metal foil gold on there and then I put some flame decals. You can see the orange flame decals and then I put masking flames over that. So this thing's got a four layer paint job and none of it's paint. And then this didn't have an interior. I don't know where the interior went, but I took the interior off of a donor kit. And the wheels are uh, Ally Form wheels. So, yeah, 61 Plymouth or Dodge. I think it's a Dodge. Anyways, yeah, there's that one. Uh, this might have been my first full custom completed car. Uh, highway miniature, um, 1940 sedan. I took the post out in between the door jams. I sanded down the whole body. I chopped the top. Basically, I just chopped the front and kept the back stock. But I chopped the front so much. And then I literally took my finger and pushed down the front to where the glue sat. And then sanded it down. Um, and then put some... Uh, metal flake seats in there, metal flake green fenders, got the stock grill, got the stock uh, engine, and yeah, this this is an old build, 2014 maybe, 
I built this 2013. I don't know. This is really old. Uh, let's go with this one. This is really cool. This would be like custom with a C, I guess. Yeah, uh, who makes these? This is the limousine. The Cadillac limousine. It's like a 66 Cadillac limousine that I chopped and made into a station wagon. A two-door shortened station wagon. Um, basically, the roof line is exactly the same and I do nothing to the roof but I did chop the body you can see the line right where my fingernail is I chopped the body took the second doors out and, and moved it forward but I cut the roof like here I cut the roof so the roof stayed and I can just push the back end forward and made this cool mini station wagon Cadillac it's the only one out there. It's got a pink, like a salmon pink paint job with a, a darker pink um, roof and then scallops. And FYI, those are called scallops. Why? Don't know. Let's go with this one. This is custom with a K. This is another uh, Ravel. Um, this is the Chrysler 300 um, 61. And it's got some faded uh, pattern lines down there with uh, some really old looking pattern jobs on the, on the hood and on the trunk. And uh, it's got a candy uh, paint job with uh, the bare metal foil for the trim line. So that's custom with a K because it looks cool and it's got attitude. This one, another custom with a K. Mexican blankets. I chopped the top. I don't know if you can tell, but the top is lower. The top on this car stock is way too high. It doesn't fit this car right. I don't know why they built it that way. They molded it that way from the factory. Don't get it. But the top is too high for this stock vehicle. So all I did was I chopped the top, gave it some Mexican seat covers for the seats mexican blankets we swapped the wheels uh and then we lowered the rear end um but i liked the paint job so i kept the paint because these scallops look pretty cool uh let's go with this boom look at that that's a wild car it's a 1937 cord i think it's a weird car. Um, actually, in the dictionary for cars, this is dictionary? Maybe encyclopedia? Maybe, I don't know. This is labeled, the 1937 or 39 Cord is labeled the most beautiful car in the world. In real life, it's a real thing. So I chopped it up, naturally. That's what I do. So I put some rear fender skirts on there I two-toned it um, and then I chopped the front fenders off so the fenders turn with the wheels some cars did that back then very few cars there's only maybe one or two cars in the 1930s that maybe only one that allowed the fenders to move with the wheels I don't really know what the purpose was for that but it was a cool look anyways so we slammed it and uh Dropped it on the ground, made it a convertible, and boom. Oh, I think this was a Williams Brothers because, yeah, look at that clear. The whole car is clear. This is a Williams Brothers kit that was very undesirable, so I just had to make it better. We'll go with this one next. Ally Form 49 through 51 Merc. I think this is the 51 version. I think if you look at that grill, I think this is a 51. I may be wrong. Um... It's, I left, I didn't put no base coat under there, so I left it bare metal, or that, that aluminum um, body look, and I painted nail polish gold, which ends up being this crazy yellow over it. So you can, you can see in some spots underneath that, uh, that uh, 
the body color is showing, like especially right there next to the wind wing. Um, and then the roof. Check this roof out. Let me clean this roof up. Check this roof out. Do you see what's happening there? So it's a metal flake green, but it's got a pattern inside, like a flower, like a five point, six point flower. It's a five point flower. Um, this is a nail polish that has the metal flake. Um, it's uh, magnetically charged, I guess. So you take a magnet and you can make patterns with the metal flake. So it's got a patterned flower, five star metal flake roof. And then I use some blue wall tires for this. I don't know why. I don't know why I did blue blue wall tires, but whatever. It makes for a cool custom. Custom with a K. Here's another custom. Really old. Uh 61 Lincoln, maybe? It's a Lincoln. I don't know what year. Whole car is pretty much stock. I think this came as a this came as a convertible, maybe. Um, all I did was gave it this candy red, this metal flake candy red paint job. And then we lowered it. So it's the stock wheels. Everything's stock on this car except for the paint job and the stance. The stance, we, lo we lowered it. And this is to mimic a real car. There's a real car somewhere on the internet. Look up custom... I guess 61 or whatever year this is Lincoln's you'll see this car and the pictures that I looked off of to get this car to look this way never showed the interior all that good so I figured naturally the interior was black found out I think it's a tan so I don't care I like it black this car looks really cool like this so boom done we'll go with this one next this is a Lincoln Zephyr, I think. Um, it's not labeled. Is there a label on the bottom of this? Uh, well, the manufacturer. So whoever that manufacturer was, I put a photo etch front grill on there. It's like a 41 or 40 Lincoln. I chopped the top, chopped the roof, gave you this custom paint job. The car was originally the same colors as the rims. I kind of liked the rim pattern, so I didn't want to screw up the rims any. But we put some photo etch license plates on the back and gave it this candy paint job. And that's this custom lead sled. This is an old build. Alley Form 49 through 51 Ford Shoebox. This came as a parts car. It didn't have an engine, so I took it. I took a, a Jordan flathead engine in there. Um, put these wild decals on it. Gave that Mexican blanket seat over it again, and kept the paint kind of rustic, so it's kind of like a rat rod custom. So. It's one of my first. You can see I didn't do nothing with the door panels. But the engine has a fuel line. Doesn't have no spark plug wires. I wasn't that good then. But it's got a fuel line for the carb. And yeah, this is a, this is custom with a K. Um, 49 through 51 shoebox. How about we go with this one? This Russ Campbell. From uh, my tribute video, this is a Russ Campbell casting of something. I don't know what this car is, but I filled in the real the rear wheel wells with skirts, gave it this candy two tone paint job, and this is this is what we call in the lowrider world like a bomb. Like both of these would be bombs because of the year. Any from the thing from the thirties, forties, and early fifties are bombs. In the lowrider world but in the custom car world same thing it's a custom bomb so you just drop the drop it you leave the body stock for the most part but you give it a stance and attitude and a look so russ campbell casting of something 
We'll go with this one next. This one of my favorites. 1951 Ford uh, Chevy. 1951 Chevy station wagon panel. Um, gloss black. Man, these things are dusty as heck. Why are these things so dusty? It's just a regular gloss black with chrome. I wanted the black and chrome look. I made the doors open in the rear. And then we put a chrome, uh, chrome motorcycle in the back. So it's a custom motorcycle, motorcycle hauler. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites just because it's cool. This is a custom with a K because it's awesome. Because it's cool. It's cool with a K. How about that? Um, let's go with this one. Oh, I love this one. 59 Cadillac. So this is based off of a real car being built in Australia. The car's not done yet. This is the best version of it I can make. Um, this is, I think, a Bosch or yeah that company that starts with a b 59 cadillac i took a 59 uh el camino roof put it on there so in the real world this would have been like a flower car you would have had this driving in front of the hearse and it would have flowers on it that's why the roof line is this way etc so in that real car they put corvette like insert fenders on there that's where the white is they put some kind of eight card intake blower engine with the exhaust coming out right below the fenders there um the real car doesn't have this lip here but this lip is where the rear seats would have been and uh yeah i don't know what this car's name is in real life but i wanted to make my own version of it so there you go I like this car. Go this one. This one is custom with a C. Plain white. Flames all over it. Flames on the dash. Flames on the seat. And lowered with white walls. It could be custom with a C or a K. I mean, it's got lowered. It's got a stance. It's, it's menacing looking. It's pretty cool. It's one of my favorite builds just because of how many flames are on there. I like flames. We'll go with something else that has flames. How about this hearse? This hearse is from, uh, where's this hearse from? I don't know who makes this hearse, but you know this hearse. Everybody has one. I painted it a silver base and I put flame decals all over it. Um, then we custom painted the interior. I don't really like this interior. I think this interior is stupid for this car. And then we put some fat white walls on there. Um, we don't have too many left. I got some other cars, but I just didn't want to take them out. I took some of the best cars out. Y'all know this one. This is custom with a K. Metal flake paint job. Everything on this car is custom, but the body. Um, besides the doors opening. Custom engine, custom wheels. Um, did I custom? Mm, I guess the grill and bumpers aren't custom. But custom tail lights, custom wheels, custom bed floor. We got the airbag set up tank right there. Custom door liners. Um, inside the cab, a custom floor, custom seats. Custom uh, firewall, custom steering wheel, custom shifter. So I went all out. The, I guess the dash is stock. The seats are custom. Floor pans are custom. Firewalls custom. Door panels are custom. Bed liners custom. Then I built a custom frame for this. With a drive shaft, you see that stupid little line that's supposed to mimic a drive shaft. Woo hoo! I went all out on this one. Got some like 25, 28 inch wheels in the front and like 30s in the back. Just over the top. Crazy custom. One of my favorite builds. 
And then for the creme la la crumb. This is Sylvan. Uh, it's that famous beer truck. Decals are stock. <clears throat> Everything else, I customed in one way or another. So the decals had this like uh, kind of goldish look from Sylvan. I liked the look. So I thought, let's chrome, all the chrome that would be chrome, let's make it gold. So it's got a black metal flake rainbow paint job all over in this thing. In the sun. Ooh, look at that. Look at what this light does. Oh my gosh. And then we got some custom wheels from Hot Wheels. Thanks, Hot Wheels. We gold <clears throat> Golded those out along with all the chrome that would be on it Except for that window the window frames are chrome And then we lowered it so if you look at here <clears throat> Maybe I'll go on the other side to get a closer look If you look at the rear fenders see how they're slanted forward So that's the stock slant what I did is I cut the front fenders and I pushed them upwards. So I made that door super tiny to get into, like a plain cockpit door of a prop plane. And then I chopped about three scale feet off the bottom of the cab, of the front of the cab, so that everything lowers in the front. And what it did is it almost flat, flat out, um, Made the cab straight up and down there where the front window is. This kit was really well made, um, designed, and I enjoyed building it immensely. So we got the lower front end, custom wheels. That's pretty much the stock height of the back end, I guess, maybe. I don't know. And then we lowered the rear trailer. Kept it with white walls, did the lights, did the decals, this custom rainbow paint job. Ah, and then these arms, I guess are supposed to be like arms you would use to get inside the cab with. You don't really need them with this car, but I put them on there. They kind of look like wings. I don't know. Um, I had the horns sitting right there. You can see that glue mark. Um, right in the center of the top of the window. I got to put the horns back on there. But yeah, these are my custom cars. Customs with a C, customs with a K. And there is a difference. I mean, a clear difference. Look at custom with a K, custom with a C. 